Hi, this is Jaden from XLR Security. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Gmail account on your Uniview NVR in four steps. Step one, you'll need to create a new Gmail account. You could use your old account, but the mailbox can quickly fill up when sending camera snapshots. So that's why I recommend creating a new Gmail account. When creating your Gmail account, make sure to add a phone number. This will be used to enable two-step verification, which is necessary for Gmail to work with your cameras. Step two, now that you have a Gmail account set up, we need to create an app password for our NVR. An app password gives your NVR permission to use your Gmail account without providing the real account password. This is necessary because in 2022, Google disabled the ability for your NVR to access your Gmail account using the standard login information. It still works, but we need to generate an app password first. To generate an app password, click the user icon at the top right of your Gmail and select Manage your Google account. Now, use the search box at the top and type in App Password. Click on the result that says App Passwords Security. If you don't see App Passwords in the list, it means two-step verification is not enabled on your account. Enable two-step verification first and try again. From this page, we can generate an app password by typing a name in the box below and clicking Create. This is your app password, which we'll use in the next step. Step 3. Next, we need to input the Gmail settings into our NVR. Log into your NVR through the web interface and navigate to Setup, Network, Email. Now, input the following information into the boxes. First, enter your Gmail address in the username box. Next, copy and paste the app password you generated earlier into the password box. Set the SMTP server to smtp.gmail.com and enter 587 for the port. Make sure TLS slash SSL and attach image are both checked. Next, enter a name for the sender and re-enter your Gmail as the sender's address. Last, enter the recipient's name and email address. This is the email address that will be receiving the alerts. Once you've input all the settings, click Save, then Test to check whether the NVR can send out emails successfully. A green check mark means the email is working properly. If you get a yellow check mark, Please ensure that your NVR is connected to your router properly and double check the email settings, then try again. Step 4. Now that the email is working on your NVR, you can test it by setting up crossline or intrusion detection on one of your cameras. I'll show you how it works on my system. First, I navigate to the Smart menu and select camera D7. I've already set up a few crosslines here. Now, I visit the Trigger Actions menu and check send email for recipient number one. And don't forget to hit save at the bottom. Now, when somebody crosses the line, I'll get an email alert. Here's how that works. That's all for this video. If you still have questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.